I am just going to issue the statement on uh, Buckingham Palace Buckingham Palace fire uh, excuse me what the fuck Windsor Castle fire 1990 uh, 92 1992 so this is a testimony this is just my witnessing yes I was under MK ultra subjected that's true but this testimony is valid is if a police officer any police officer at least the least police officer would give you testimony I have to explain why. I was probably age 10. I was a little boy, still a little boy, and I was delivered to these wonderful people to Britain. They were not such a wonderful people. Sometimes they were wonderful. And on other occasions, they were unrecognizable. I had a very, very big difficulty coming to a conclusion about what exactly I was dealing with. I was not stupid as a child under any means. I was smarter as a child than probably most of adults. I knew exactly what it means to manipulate. I knew what violence is. I was a veteran at my age then. When it comes to life experience, when it comes to good, bad, evil, I know because of the countless, countless incidents, problems, fights in real life and even more during MKR I don't know what was worse. It was time when I was taught that MKR violence eventually surpassed the one in the real world. Mike Tyson was, he was not a popular person at all. I spent a lot of time around Mike Tyson for, for whatever reason that was. I, I didn't get what the fuck, why, but when I heard people booing, like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I knew I was next to Mike Tyson. There was no doubt. Because there was only one guy in the whole MK Ultra that had similar rating to mine. That was Mike Tyson. My rating as a baby it started when I was growing up. It was fucking ten times worse than Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson observed this stuff and was shocked it's kind of a heart basically when you're fucking hated and i can tell you mike tyson was hated uh by spectators by people that you know public and uh my reputation was uh, 10 times worse there was nothing other than, ooh, 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 you know. The one time it looked like I'm gonna fight, and I did. The entire fucking school. Like 400 kids more. It actually did happen. It wasn't, ooh, you know, it was worse. Um, Grammar school. 
I know what's good, I know what's bad, but I could not figure out these people. No matter what I would do is, I could not figure out these British royals under any fucking means, because they did not engage directly in the violence. Sometimes they did something nasty that clearly placed them in, in a book of evil. Not even like bad people or something like that, but fucking evil. But still most of the time I felt kind of privileged to be around these people and even felt I'm a part of the family because they absolutely wanted me to feel like a part of the family. I felt like I, I uh, actually these people that I was, uh, I was one of them. It didn't matter to me. This was really, really unique because my parents are here in Slovenia. And it was unique because it was like a, like exclusive special family that uh, supposedly had unlimited power, castles, all that. That meant for me that uh, people could not get to me if I would associate myself with them. It would give me a prestige, a power that. Um, we keep away folks. But I couldn't I couldn't figure out no matter what these people. And it probably started before I was age then. It probably started like in 1978. It was um They had like a three police investigators. Uh, it looked to me like a police investigators, but probably some commissar or something from police. I I only knew who these people were because they dressed just in a civil clothing. If I asked, and I was explained. I don't know other means would I understand who the fuck this. What you know? They are very nice people, and I totally consider them as a. Uh, I don't know, nephew, niece, whatever, of, you know, Philip, whatever. Philip was that time, like, you know, when I was growing up, it was all about the Queen, Elizabeth and Philip. Not all of it. No, 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 no. I got it completely wrong. But I would deal preferably with Philip and with Elizabeth. I would not deal, um, yeah, I will also deal with Charles and Andrew, but I consider them like a kids, basically. Uh, of course, they ordered myself, much older. I'm 52. But the thing about it is that Elizabeth and Philip treated me with more respect. They treated me always with respect, so they appeared. And so, because of what they did in the background of it, I might well have to do something with that booing also that I told you about, ooh, you know. I would consider them like quite direct uh, peers, basically, my direct, uh, you know. And when they refer to the Charles and to Andrew and to Edward, it was to me like, like a little bros, you know, Princess Anne, like a little sister, something in that sense. That was actually quite attractive, I'm going to say to you. <clears throat> Princess Anne, contrary to numerous females, however, 
would not display me tits. Is that interesting for you? You know, uh, it was crossing my mind always about how the Serbian Tretniks, when they came inside of this house on a visit, and they had their women. So this is like a little break, so you understand what MK Ultra is, right? That you get into my skin and you understand, basically, from my point of view, from actually what's going on, how things like this happen. They, uh, they, they told uh, the ladies, even if I didn't like them or whatever. Uh, they told them, no, no, this is the way they are. This is the way they are. Meaning us, I, myself. Even at one point I was told there was an entire class at the grammar school, Naomist and beyond, that were all subjected to MK, which I kind of doubt. But it's a possible thing. I'm sure that actually happened because these are the kids that it wasn't one time, I think it was quite a few occasions. Yeah, there was time when uh, class at the Stone Ashola Gurum, class A, uh, and even a kindergarten, where well, I was prior to it, everyone was subjected to MK Ultra. There was time, it's not a time. There was time when they would uh, engage us in MK Ultra, not only at kindergarten, which was super a uh, lot. MK Ultra is going on, but for the very early childhood, when it comes to MK Ultra, it flourished. Now I am already referring to the age six, seven, eight, and up. Uh, still, what happened? There will be entire class that will be subjected to MK Ultra. Uh, with certain individuals that would also use from uh, other classes. Like, let's say the fourth graders have, like, I don't know how many, maybe four, maybe six different classes. Four classes, I think there were. And so I know that our kids supervised at one point with other kids from other classes, another class that was subjected to MK Ultra. And then again, it was the vice versa. When we, the entire class, would be subject to MK Ultra, and we have kids from three other classes that would observe our class being subjected to MK Ultra inside of the school. And it was on other occasions that nobody was really subjected to MK Ultra. Or were doing their best to convince me that it's entire school that is subjected to MK Ultra by literally assembling kids from other classes uh, in higher classes. Uh, make wide and big picture, uh, which was actually not the truth. And it was children that acted like uh, you know, that I was like number one, you know, in that, in that MK Ultra story and so on. Uh, that was acting. But at times, it also was not acting. So I thought this would be helpful to explain exactly what went on in this Osnona Shola Gurm. Not only at Vrtice Dragoska. They have to understand what MK Ultra is. I think at the grammar school novel mess they were actually using MK Ultra for selection. It's actually, it's a fact. So it told me this is this is basically the way they are. So they, you know, they would, you know, they would have this lady say, ask me, hey, do you like me? You know, how about me? Yeah, how about me? How about me? And uh, I was like, it depended on many, many different factors, you know, in what mood I was. 
Did I get enough sleep? Did I feel okay? Did I, is somebody did something to me or whatever? Finally, the woman was actually attractive to me. And then, then I would decide, you know, about it. So, sometimes it would be, no, you know, sometimes it would be, yeah, I mean, it all depended. Sometimes I was completely insane about females introduced in MK Ultra and really like a dog. Yeah, on other occasions I was just like, please, no. So, when I think about this Chetnik in the kitchen here, it's stated, no, this is the way they are. This is the way they are. And it was not the only one. Uh, they had other people suggesting to my family, to my parents. Even if they would disagree, they really didn't have any kind of professional platform. And especially due to their poor education to disagree. They had to agree on it. Whether you like it or not. Because it was a... Uh, you know, it's like what the Martin I gave you, you know. You better agree what the fuck I say in front of your child. This is, in my opinion, terror. When you say child, your own child jerked up in front of you like this, and in a situation like this, there's nothing you can do. And you have the whole city involved in it. When I was a child, my relatives from Bela Kraina with my mother. This is far away from here, where my mother is from. In a whole fucking region, they would introduce me from one village. Listen, not only the city, from one village to another. I was like a baby fuck, like a... Something incredible. I had no fucking idea what went on, but it felt like the whole Yugoslavia was like this. Josip Bros Tito, whatever he would take me, also, it would be people that would, uh, that were introduced in it. So, very hard to know what the fuck these people want. Are they good? Are they bad? Princess Anne would not give me her tits. I asked her too. I wanted her. But... She teased, but she wouldn't. But what exactly that means, that she wouldn't give me her tits? It sounds kind of vulgar, it sounds kind of uh, simplistic, it kind of uh, actually disgusting the way I express myself, but it so deliberately. Because it's about, as I suggested a little earlier to you, us, as this Chetnik stated, he, he referred to me as uh, us, to us. They, they are like this. They, what he meant by that, they are like this. He said, he also stated something else that I recall. He stated, they tell you exactly the way it is. In other words, he implied, which is a very, very extremely, extremely valuable data to me that I analyzed. He implied to the people as general, suggesting that you who subjected to MKUltra or people that are not subjected to MKUltra always lie. And the truth can only be seen in people when, whenever they are subjected to MKUltra. So now we go to that third part about Princess Anne. My being rude, impolite, prostachina, like the same Croatia, I think. Uh, prostak, whatever. That's just a person like. Blah. Uh, insulted in the face and so on. His statement helped me analyze, that I recall, you know, what exactly truly went on. When in front of this, his lady was asking me, and he suggested, this is just the way they are, this is just the way they are. And so I wanted to understand what that means exactly, 
This is exactly the way they are. What exactly is that? Well, it's a lie. It's a big lie. When I was one year old, I saw more tits, women tits, and was incited literally in viewing women sexually. And I was actually given even admiration. I earned admiration from adult women, from like ripe, beautiful 20, 30 year olds, even 40 year old females. They were flourishing in their beauty, in their female, feminine beauty. And they were demonstrating in this. And they sometimes conversed in front of me and in front of others that were subjected, children that were subjected to MKR, which was suggesting that one did not even move. This one did not even move. And I heard them talking up to one year and uh, up to like three years or something. The human doesn't give sexual response to incitement in sexual viewing, viewing female in a sexual way. I was just one year old and I think that my little bird already started to give the signals. That's me right there that you see, that's, that's me. I don't know what age I was here in this picture, but I estimate about probably three years of age. Uh, two and a half, most likely. That's me right there. Maybe even two years old. I don't know. And this year, that's me when I was one year old. And you can see that cake right there with just the one candle. You see? That was me. One year old. That's it right there. And uh, here's the deal. You can see, you see the hair right there? I would not allow anybody to cut my hair. I would not allow anybody to cut my hair because they use the scissors to terrorize me. They would uh, even do little scars to me. Talking about the hairdressers, painful, scary, they also scared stupid stuff they talked about, how they would even cut me hairs and stuff like that. So I would not allow anybody to touch my hair. I really look like a girl, but still, I would not allow anybody to call me a girl. If anybody did call me a girl, he got beatings from me. Before I was explained that it's not manly to be addressed as a girl. So it was a really, really tricky situation. Like this, with the long hair, with the children that would just love to pick up with anybody. And uh, I could be that very, very wrong somebody you will pick up on. It happened all the time. With kids with the kids, with the children regretting afterwards. When I mentioned to uh, the ladies, why do I say this to you? Why do I show you these pictures? I show you these pictures because, you know, I looked like a girl. Do you realize that? I looked like a little girl. So the pictures that you would have it would definitely be a long hair like this. This was characteristics for me. And it was stupid stuff that went on. I'm not going to go into all kinds of stuff people talked about. Whatever. And I'm like a little Samson and stuff like that. I don't mean anything in sense of uh, whatever. Um, so the thing about it is that when I talked to you about, when I spoke to you about those girls flashing, excuse me, ladies flashing tits, age 20, 30, 40, it's very, very important for me to accent. They were not only 20, 30, and 40. They preferably would use, like, the mostly they would use was always like a select age. In age, 
most frequently will range about 20 and it will go down to 16. Then on occasion I would see already they flash with a 14 and I know they also are using the girls which I was not really tempted to because it was not like in a, in a adult woman. It's crazy how much a child, as a child, I pick up on uh, like on adult females. It was something completely, completely different than a young girl. I mean, a young girl was sweet and everything, but uh, you know, adult lady was just something totally, totally different. Uh, her assets were much more uh, prominent, much more visible, evident uh, than those of the young girls. I mean, it's just as simple as that. So I, it was just not the thing for me, really. And, well, I mean, let's start like, with the facial characteristics of the girls that you would like, yeah, sure. But the older females are like a magnet, basically, because of the feminine uh, posture, just basically how the genes work, whatever. And so the thing is that they were not using only 20, 30, 40. Um, 40 was already considered as old. It was already inappropriate. Literally, I know because I listen to the teachers. Uh, these teachers, these educators and uh, not only educators, but the ladies that were involved in MK Ultra did not only flash me this, they flashed it also to the younger ladies, to the younger girls, even girls of my age. Once I have reached age 10, uh, 9, 10, uh, I find myself with uh, teachers uh, using my school uh, mate, girls, they are my same age, basically. Gesture to me that this is going to be about any time the right size for me, and so on. Other kind of weird stuff, really. Um, and teaching them basically how to use their little bits. Any of the girls that simply would pick up the signal about this stuff and would become involved in MPO are totally, totally inseparable. From MK Ultra, like for every session would open, they would just participate in it. It was like no way you could get them anywhere. Look at that. Uh, that actually looks even like a euro right there. <clears throat> Normal stuff was, as I realized. Girls age 14 that would like bombard MK Ultra. Now, later, as I move up from the age one, two, three, uh, kind of funny, the further up I would go, uh, the age of the girls would decrease. And really, the age of the girls would decrease about age 12. I thought this is interesting to mention so those that run MK Ultra that do this kind of stuff understand that this is the real deal uh, about uh, feminine beauty. This tool that I stated right now is what uh, let's say Pollux and um, who else? I don't know, Russians <laughs> and um, Serbs who did a lot of bad stuff. They referred to this stuff as uh, they pointed at the German women and they said, uh, I know what they have done to you. We know what they have done to you. They used the women to do that. That's why you don't like us and this and that. Trying to omit, trying to cover up basically 
violence and that kind of stuff that's going on. It's giving all the best shots they possibly could to change the reality, to change the picture as much as possible. It is true. I've seen beautiful women from anywhere around the world. I've seen, when I was one year old, baby, one and a half year old baby. I've seen more tits than average man does in his lifetime. It was nothing other than flashing tits. And it was used to get you going, to put you up on your feet and get you going. After the violence of the stuff they would do, there were always ladies, teachers, that would flash tits. Inside of our class at the grammar school, Novo Maestro, uh, I couldn't understand that stuff, man. When I observed uh, kids, uh, there were several kids, they were just giving such a strong sexual signals. You're talking about the teenagers, like already kindergarten. It sounded like an age like four or five. Uh, you would, you know, I did not fucking notice the difference between the fucking kindergarten and between the fucking uh, grammar school because some kids uh, were completely, completely, completely fucked up, messed up. Uh, I had a kid that would, in front of the whole glass, class, he lay down on the floor and he started to hit with his uh, part of the body where penis is located, pelvis area, uh, toward the floor, uh, claiming that uh, is a teacher that uh, he is uh, doing his stuff to her and stuff like that. I have not seen shit like this as crazy as that. Uh, on the other hand, in real life, I do not display a single, single, single sexual uh, tendency toward it. I was cold like a stone, colder than a stone. I was intelligent. I was calculated. No matter what I tried to do to destabilize me, uh, it was impossible. I was, I was a five years old lawyer, attorney, a man who knew more about the psychiatry, what psychiatry can do to you than adults do. I wasn't paranoid. I've seen kids destroyed, killed. I knew exactly what the fuck I was doing. They almost got me a few times in a problem, claiming me that if I go publicly about this stuff, I would be saved. There was no such thing. <clears throat> almost. However, never ever. Till I actually got it done. And I did not got it done before the age 46. This is how bad a care tree is. This is what kind of curse this is. I'm just giving you understanding about what MKUltra is. People involved in MKUltra, they are subjected to MKUltra. Victims have nothing to do with. MKUltra has nothing to do with the reality. It does have something to do with reality, but those limits are very, very limited. Other than that, not really. It really doesn't. With a lot of things, a lot, a lot of things, it doesn't. <clears throat> but I would say, with a lot, a lot of things also, it does. It all depends on who the people are, what the people do, uh, and overall, who the people that were involved in this stuff, who were they, what they wanted, what, what kind of background, what, what had they really done behind all that stuff is what the victim will be searching in his answers. That's why I said, that's why I wanted to be a root. I tried with the Princess Anne, and she flirted with me already when I was a baby. But these investigators 
Oh, nice people, three guys. And of these three investigators, there was one investigator that would stay all along. Now, two others, uh, I don't think they were investigators. It's possible that they were investigators, and uh, one was like somebody I'm pretty sure that when I look on the internet for it, once they show me his face, I definitely will recognize one. But it was 1978, I think. When there was some financial problem that popped up in Asia, political stuff. And that one pertained to a tax collection, a money, how to increase the money, how to budget, how to replan, refill, uh, go forward with it. Uh, a budget, the money, finances. And um, Something that went on all the time that I managed to uh, observe that was the stuff that they they were just money, 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 and this and that, money and fucking money. And uh, I was actually I know so because I was even asking like fucking money, like what, what the fuck are you gonna do with this money now? And then the strangest thing to me was they are gonna go and burn a portion of the castle. For the money reasons, that was like, okay, so I told them, I was, I liked old things, I like old, uh, old things, and I really, really enjoyed old furniture, old, uh, old things, I, to me it was just beautiful, I was really kind of obsessed with, with everything that was old, aged old, and, um, it's kind of strange, man. As a child, that was uh, like a strange, strange uh, tendency, really. Um, and kind of was fucking weird by my schoolmates. They fucking nudge me like, am I being fucking weird about this? Stuff about this. Issues pertaining to all things. Had this old beautiful family furniture and stuff, coins. All kinds of stuff, old house, I love it. And um, this is just the way it was. And uh, this place, this uh, portion of the castle, I didn't see anything wrong with it. To me it was, it was totally acceptable, it was totally nice. Uh, and uh, it got to my attention that they would burn this stuff. I was like, actually, no, no, no. Here I almost made a mistake, right? I mean, if you're going to do the testimony, then it better be not like the one they demonstrated on the videos. Uh, I was just going to download myself right now about the fire, the damage the castle has been fixed uh, that was released in 2019. And then I said, you know, because I'm doing exercise right now, and that's when I would go and watch these videos. I said to myself, no, 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 let me post this first on the internet. Then, once it's on the internet, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to see that video from 2019. Actually, download one and see. Uh, briefly, however, I have seen this area. They show in the video something like a portion of the castle that has been so. Beautiful, so on. All this stuff I recorded yesterday. And if it would be for that video that I, this little clip that I saw about portion of the castle that was heard, I wouldn't even talk to you like this. But no, no, no. Only the portion of the castle that can be seen for public, the public had access. Was in a good shape. As for the rest of it, it was a dumpster. Closer to the dumpster than anything good. It was actually even rated as inhabitable. There was a room, wherever it was, it was totally, totally fucked up. It was over. It was time to lighten the match. So the stuff that you see right there that is for the public. 
this is totally, totally different than what the reality was from behind, where you had just residential uh, stuff. Oh, that was what that one was more uninhabitable than not. All right, they were fixing it, they were getting it in a good shape and so on, as much as it would be possible. They worked on it, but it became evident that it's not going to last. So one thing is what you people see through media camera, they demonstrate you, and something completely different was the reality from behind the scenes about this portion of the castle. Oh, I just wanted to clarify, so do you understand it? I know where I was, I know what I have seen, and I'm also identifying it, even if it's uh, 30 plus years ago. Sure, we can do that. Mm, to me, it sounds like a joke. How right? the fuck are you gonna go and do that kind of stuff anyhow? It's like I was like seven years old, child when they come up with an idea that they are gonna... And they wanted me to witness. It was one of the things, because at the end of it, in 1992, when the fire was unleashed, I was guilty for it. Remember when I told you, whoa, boo, 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 bad you, bad, bad, bad. MK Ultra is always about a trauma. And uh, it was difficult to, to discern between good, bad, evil. It became evident in 1992. Still, it was not evident to me. But when it started to remind me, and when it especially started to tell me that it's already too late now for me to come out and tell about it wasn't that I realized they were evil when they were telling me, when they were telling me all about this stuff. Even when they accused me that I was the one guilty for the castle being burnt. Still nothing. But you know, when they came out and told me it's actually now too late for me. And I asked them like in respect to the castle fire and I was like they were showing me pictures of it and later on on a laptop the picture of it once they told me that it's already too late that's when I realized this motherfuckers are evil these are no friends why? Because I consider them as a family, basically. Why the fuck would, do you think that I'm going to go and, uh, and after you explain me all this, how are you going to do it? You trusted me. You're going to go and do this fire. I think I'm a fucking rat. I'm going to run to the internet and disclose about what you have done. I never would have done that because I was part of the family, right? I was, I was part of the family. Why the fuck would I do this? This is how the human processes the information if it's at least somewhat normal. I was more than normal. I was brilliant. Still am. If I wouldn't be, I could not process the information so efficiently as I did right now to when I was like fucking seven years old. In this particular case, burning the Windsor Castle all the way up to, to like I said, after the fire in 1992 when I was accused, I was suggested like that it's already too late for me. In other words, they suggested me like, we keep you around here so that you can go and you can fuck us. Friends don't do that. Friends don't go and teach somebody about something and then suggest someone, you know, to one, look, it's too late for you to even fuck us. We did everything possible to help you. But I never really wanted to fuck you. This never was, really, never ever was my plan. 
Uh, but this is basically the British Royals always worked. Between this nice soft, it was always a dagger basically. In absolutely any issue, for those of you who heard about divide and contour technique, which is something Prince Charles will come always insane, now King Charles was always crazy about it. He always was all absorbed about this divide and conquer, uh, creating out of one issue like 10 deadly issues. And then use that stuff to manipulate it through the threats on either cooperation or a psychiatry simple. <clears throat> Burning of the Windsor Castle went on for at least 10 years actively from 1978 all the way to 1989. Uh, most of the stuff, I remember a lot of females were involved in it that would help move the furniture and do this stuff. Most of the stuff was done in nighttime, uh, three years before the fire, three years before the fire, uh, the work, intensive work, night work, stopped. Uh, meaning they moved sufficiently enough to other castles, other areas, wherever they wanted to be saved, preserved, and was therefore only cosmetically left, whatever the fuck was left. It's actually even questionable now, even for the pieces that they suggested they had been burnt, it was really were burnt. Because of, you know, so much time they had on hand, because of even what was involved in, the, in this case, money falsifiers. In MKUltra case, in my MKUltra case, there were also money falsifiers involved. There were also involved people that would falsify the money. Professional falsifiers. I told you about the Pablo Escobar, but it was also. I'm just giving you because he's so. Uh, to me, he was just another uncle involved in it. But what I'm saying is, there was other people, maybe more ruthless, maybe more far more uh, efficient in in crime activities than Pablo Escobar that nobody even fucking talks about, nobody even knows about, you know what I mean? Um, Pablo Escobar was just a person that I embraced in a certain way, to a certain degree, and they make the fucking story out of it, like you watch like on a Hollywood movies. They told me for you, because it was one of yours that you liked, so I'm just giving you an idea how basically this stuff works in the real world. Uh, sure enough that if I would come with the stuff I did, I could possibly be seen like the worst motherfucker in the history of humankind. Uh, with British Royals literally having the ability to continually play uh, Asia, Africa, Eastern Europe, uh, South America, like, they were like my victims, so that was a, such a bad motherfucker. And basically, absolutely involved in absolutely every fucking crime that happened that took place against them. That would be unbelievable. It would almost sound like I was the one who... Uh, I don't know. The worst thing that ever was, I think. I'm responsible for the deaths even that never took place. That's exactly. So, it stopped about three years. In 1989, therefore, before the fire took place, uh, at night still, they would go for another two years uh, to remove maybe something, or rearrange something, or prepare something, test how the fire was spread, where the fire was spread. Uh, they tested out, they, they literally did absolutely everything possible to have the fire completely under control, and they have. And uh, when the fire 
went on. It was a feeling like, like with everything else. You know, like whatever they were using to prepare, like preparing you know, a long distance, it was exactly the same kind of feeling. It almost felt like I went in a fucking fiesta or something like that. It was actually like, uh, you know, like it, now it's gonna happen. Now it's gonna happen. Did you do that? Did you prepare this? Did you, you know? The person who was present with me at the time in London was actually Loise Peterle. Uh, they had the Loise Peterle, Slovenian site, uh, possibly even Dmitry Rupel, I don't know. But I know Peterle was there, and afterwards he was there, and uh, Janša and so on. They had this Slovenian independence people that, just like a gift for Slovenian independence. Like, what the fuck have you committed? You're guilty, you know, somebody came and did this fire and this and that, you know. In that sense is what I'm trying to say, I was guilty. So I, th I uh, think this was a very good testimony, a good understanding to you, whatever the hell you are, about not only about this 1992 fire, but a bit about background about these uh, circumstances so that you understand how MKUltra works, what actually to consider and what not to consider, when it comes to MK Ultra, stuff I told you is the stuff that uh, uh, now, all the government, all the government officials, whatever country you would go to, they all know the stuff I was talking to you about right now. Everybody knew about this stuff. You know, it's just there's no secrets really about what MK Ultra is, how it is, and so on and so forth. Um, there was this lady, uh, ladies, there was some type of lady that was blonde, but they had like a big nose. Uh, and they were literally having a fun because according to, to guys, those ladies were not attractive at all. Uh, but to me, they were always attractive. And when I finally came to conclusion and said, uh, no, you know what? No. Uh, how about this one? Would you go for this one? I said no. They were joking like this, you know, laughing about it. And she said, that's also an interesting case. And she said to me, what? What did you say? Um, you would not want me and this and that and I... I'm oh, looking at other ladies, so I was like, no, nah, not really. I, you know, I kind of prefer that one. Oh, like this and so on. Took me to the separate room, unzip her tits out. Uh, and again, I was all hers. Um, the big nose. Shit, it didn't matter so much. This is the truth about it all. Um, I have developed certain type for certain ladies. The kind of ladies started to wear like so with different kind of profiles of the females. They will put themselves like a big frames glasses, like with a big, big thick, thick frames, red, yellow, whatever. I kind of look funky, and that specially basically sexually aroused me and so on. It was all kinds of stuff like this that went on. So it's about understanding, about not only giving you account about, but it also makes the whole testimony factual without any psychiatrist on hand, having even the ability to doubt about it for any or every one of my videos. Thanks for watching this video. This was a testimony about 1992 fire in a Buckingham Palace. There was some financial stuff Slovenian police witnessed this stuff. There was some financial stuff. And this is how they built this mutual, or I should say intermutual trust on crime. Really. And don't even dare to say something about it. Because the police officers are really paid to keep quiet. Per, the, per state, per country, per state. Now I also give a definition. 
about the police officers, how it worked, how it functioned. There was something about this money collection and stuff like this. This stuff also was involved in it. Uh, they weren't paying taxes and stuff like this. And I had to figure out how they're going to pay a British state. Uh, and on the other hand, also compensate to maintain castles and, and or, in other words, apologize. Taxpayers' money invested in these castles and that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching this video. So, till next time. Uh, Windsor Castle fire, which took place on November the 21st, 1992. 1992, this, this fire here that you see, was tied straight. It was, it was tied straight to the wedding of Princess Anne is crazy my sound. The disaster that you see here was directly tied to the marriage of Princess Anne. Lawrence Timothy, Princess Anne, the two got married in 1992. And it was directly the same it was totally, totally, through my case, the way the British royals tried their best, together with a Slovenian, Milan Kuchan, with a Borut Pahor, Golobic, and politicians, uh, they gave their best with the, the Noshek, with the Danilo Turk, and so on. They gave their best together, joined with the joint power of Yanis Yansha, Dmitry Rupel. The most acquainted with the procedure was Louis, Louisy, Louis Peterle, Igor Boucher, the so called opposition of the Milan culture. They gave their best, they gave everything they possibly could to get me killed before I would exit Slovenia. There was no secret to anybody involved in MKUltra. I would not stay in Slovenia. And what was expected of me was to go and make a wild claims about my relationship with the British royals. Uh, in fact, the lady that you see is a Princess Anne flirted with me since my early childhood. She was to become, according to Prince Philip, according to Queen Elizabeth, more than anybody, according to the Prince Charles. Now, King Charles, Prince Philip, she was to become, she was to become my present, my graduation present. Here. I graduated in 1991 from Mechanical Engineering Technician. See? In 1989, for Mechanic, and on September of 1991, For mechanical engineering technician. That's a secondary education. Secondary. She flirted with me since my childhood, since my early childhood. She was a prime female involved in this. One of many females, but she flirted with me more than longer and more than anybody else did and flirted with me since my graduation completely insanely claiming me that she will be my wife that she will that the two of us are going to get married 
Yes? And so in April of 1992, in April of 1992, just as promised, Princess Anne ended her marriage with Phillips. It was April 1992. She was to become my wife. This is what they brainwashed me with. This is, this is what was going to happen. It was all with the Slovenian police. That's why I know so much about this fire of Windsor Castle. That's why I know so much about the fire when it comes to Windsor Castle. That's why I know it was a Slovenian police that was with me all along in the Windsor Castle observing the fire. They drilled me brainwash me on fire go and fucking tell that you elaborated that you witness deliberate fire and go and tell that you're about to marry a British royal and I guarantee you in a world where I was look at that in this certificate that you see right there It still says Yugoslavia, Yugoslavia. Is this here Republic Slovenia? Imagine this. It was already finished with Yugoslavia. But at the top of the certificate, it still says Yugoslavia. Because a Luis, Luisic, Luis Peterle, you know? Luis Peterle, do you know the Luis Peterle? He was too busy to make the fucking new papers. The thing is, he was not too busy. He was evil. This is the thing. He, he explained it. They were not busy about uh, seeing all these people that were going on these excursions to Britain. Thanks to this criminality extermination procedure against me, that Josip Broz Tito, whom they regarded as a dictator in the western part of the world, and they were supposedly they were allies of the Western part of the world. They refused to deliberately change the graduation certification, diploma, whatever, with what should have been already Slovenia and not Republic Slovenia, but Slovenia is an independent state with anything on it as a Yugoslavia. By even giving me an explanation to fuck me, deliberately to fuck me. So they deliberately wanted to fuck me. The proof about Yelko Katsin, about Luis Petrle, about Janez Jansha, about Igor Boucher, it's right there. It says right there, it says Yugoslavia. You're not supposed to be, but it was, and I will tell you, I will accent to you this again, to fuck me. Uh, um, obviously, I was not the only person, uh, but they admitted with this kind of act, I was the only person who cared about it. You know, that actually even goes back to this issue, which I stated, these people never were any kind of pro-independence people. These people were, and still are, Udba assassins, like a KGB. They work for the KGB. They work for the Udba. They had publicly displayed different from Milan Kuchan appearance, even that they greatly misled the whole public by doing exactly the same, basically doing the job for Milan Kuch and for Borat Pahor, making themselves even stupid in front of Kuch in front of Pahor, in front of Dernoshek, in front of Danilo Turk and so on, by literally accepting corruption like Pirnat did, and, uh, getting themselves in a criminal misdeeds 
like Igor Boucher did and Yanis Yansha, they caught them stealing corruption, basically money involvement, money laundering and stuff like that. Uh, how the fuck you do this if you are some kind of pro-independence and you're a top politician? You don't want to serve like an example to the people and you find your way to kill the one that is completely on the bottom that should be on the top otherwise that's myself by even going after him to declare him basically no it is slovenia and everything and it should have been changed already but it's not going to be changed because of you and so on that's basically it and then there was another part about all this stuff and it's probably the part that that troubled British oils the most. It was about the British oils, about myself. Under no way, no way in hell, you understand? No way in hell would I go and report on British oils about some fire, about something like this. It wasn't about only that I would go out of Slovenia in abroad in other countries and would have probably slim chance, a slender chance, slim chance to survive. But it was my loyalty, you know, that real pro, as they were there with accent afterwards, European, pro-European, pro-Western, pro-NATO and so on, spirit I had, that under no circumstances would I go after those who claimed were my allies were on my side, such as what British royals claimed that I was their family, that I was part of them, one of them, and renounced them to the world as to making themselves a fire, that they did the stuff like this and so. This is one thing that was more than anything to me. It wasn't like this with the uh, with Boucher and with the Yantra and with the Peterle and so on. They wanted me to come up with stuff like this. It was about me. I would never go and do the stuff like this, no matter what. Even for the cost, even for if the royals would tell me stuff like this to go and do it, I definitely would not go and do it. So it was about somebody else also. It was not only about them. It was also about somebody else, about some other completely different ethics and views and uh, personality, whatever. It was about myself. I was the one who was making decision that this is something that I would not consider to do under absolutely any circumstances. The police investigators from Slovenia who would bring me there, they were wood killers. These are the people that completely indifferent on the KGB. It's like the people you... It, they used to be even Serbs that would go there. It was time that with the Josip Bros Tito and so on, that's how it all started. You know, where the fuck would I go? These people are the same as people from Belgrade. Where would I go and attack basically the people that I wanted to form alliance with? So this is just the problem was the problem was I was not a bad person. I was a good person. The problem was how to kill the good person and so that you would look like a victim. This was the problem of the royals. They wanted to look like a victim and they had a job to do was to kill somebody who embraced them. And what it didn't make any sense to any British or anybody in the West for that matter that would not accept as its ally. This is where the British problem was. The problem was concentrated on some, some other issues. They had a bad plan. They had a bad intentions for me. Upon the fall of the Soviet Union, a new threat emerges. Upon the fall of the Soviet Union, a new threat re-emerges, a new threat re-emerges, that's again a neo-Nazism, this is what 
Russia needed. This is what Vladimir Putin needed. This is what British royals made agreement with Moscow. It would look like when they would declare the war on Islam, on oil fields, basically, all the way to Iraq, through the Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Iran. Something that they started through Palestine. They had no time for the friendship. On a picture was a just big agenda. And they synchronized their needs. Russia had a problem with the Muslims because it was a bunch of beautiful little countries that needed to be conquered for the sake of expansion of the Russia, the so-called Russian Federation. They were targets. And Russia launched a number of wars against these countries. All this Dagestan, Chechnya, uh, all these countries in area of Russia, uh, It turned into the river of blood upon the Russian separation from the Soviet Union, actually from upon the fall of the Soviet Union. And then they needed something more than that. They didn't want to go after Ukraine or after the Baltic states, which they waited in between, either would be Baltic states or Ukraine, even Poland was on the picture. They needed a form of synchronized uh, with Western part of the world uh, Holocaust cause type of element intermixed with terrorism. Terrorism applied to the Muslim people and the neo-Nazism applied to the people in Europe that Russia wanted to conquer, eliminate, to re-establish itself as a superpower again. And it was all coordinated with American side that create for the oil, create for the Middle East, uh, Africa, Libya, Algeria, etc., etc. Basically the stuff that we have seen. Regardless of how good I wanted to be with these people, they, they didn't want me. It wasn't about me, it was about them. This uh, graduation thing uh, that you see right there, uh, the graduation thing, oh, fuck off. The graduation thing here that you see with Yugoslavia, this is the way I have to do this stuff because this is what this is what I have as a computer equipment. I can't even glue the fucking video clips together so that I would go and do other stuff, sleep, work, and do other stuff. This is what they left me with, basically. Um, stuff that you see right there was written in Yugoslavia, Republic Slovenia. This most likely, most likely was even done at the request of the British royals, so that the fellow British uh, Americans and everybody else I would come across, they would not see me, you know, what they do is basically they try to erase absolutely every trace, absolutely everything about one. I learn about these people that they are great about falsifying history, falsifying facts, changing it, uh, rewriting the whole thing the way it fits their agenda and this is what they were doing about me my entire life finally as I stated even involving psychiatry so the children have written they graduated in Slovenia he was too fucking busy Janez Jansha was too busy for us children actually graduates to receive the papers such that would suggest we got them in Slovenia, not in Yugoslavia. They were too busy. Slovenia, however, already was independent. 
that too is a topic for discussion. Because I told you that Yanis Yansha is a Udba killer. I told you that Igor Boucher is a Udba killer. I told you that Louis Petrler, the killer, is assassin. I told you these things. They knew about this stuff. They deliberately have done it this way. They did not bother to change anything. They wanted, literally wanted, to look like this. And this is for me, not the people from here. They're from here technically, but their job with the beginning of the so-called independent Slovenia was still to go out there and kill us natives as we're unwilling to compromise ourselves to the greater Chetnik Serbian state, known as Yugoslavia. This was a last, last attempt that Slovenian Yugoslav psychiatry, together with a British psychiatry, Londoners, launched absolutely everything they possibly could to get me killed. I graduated, I got two educations, one was for maintenance mechanic, they got jobs, more the fuck that you can count, you can work anywhere you want, you can work on planes, you can work inside of the factories maintaining and repairing machines, you can work in workshops, wherever the, wherever the hell you want. On cars, and I got another one for mechanical engineering technician, that's another two years. Anything you fucking want. They were desperate. I was young, I was strong, and there was nobody really to hold me back from going out of the Slovenia. Nobody else other than the British Royals, the rats from London, London rats. Nobody else was out there. So the first thing what he did was excitement. The second thing they did was a fire. And the third thing, after they did this, it was a marriage to Timothy Lawrence. in 1992 and that one took place in December so it was done everything everything was done step by step in an occasion when she got married this my long time love the British the big British princess it was done in a such a humiliating depressing such a disgusting way to demoralize to dehumanize to cause as much as possible psychological harm, damage, along this castle here that you see here, that burnt, that it's fucking incredible. It was actually, it was really astronomical. The only thing that Slovenian police did good, there is one thing the Slovenian police did good, because I drilled them, I would not let them go off the, the hook. The only thing they did was they escorted me all along to London, and they were violent thugs. The only thing they did was, and even that, they didn't do it for me. It was to fuck me, to depress me even more. Is they stated me, well, you know, but we are not going to tell you. We are not going to, we're never going to recognize, we're never going to admit that we have seen, that we witnessed this fire work preparation in this castle. We don't know nothing about it. That's the only thing they did. It actually really helped me with a dilemma on even casting any kind of, you know, belief 
that there was a chance I had actually with the burning of the Windsor Castle <laughs> that this year this was actually even crazier that you would go out there and state well she supposed so it was to get married with me in instead she got married to the Timothy Lawrence because I was guilty for divorce from Phillips that I was I was it was all kinds of stuff that went on again trauma again all kinds of stuff and love and this and that we're gonna it's gonna be a marriage wonderful you graduated and this is your present and so on now your life will be taken care of and so on this and that <laughs> it was the last psychiatric attempt before I would exit Slovenia that they launched together like visible like on a map of other people anywhere from Germans to Americans who were involved and they witnessed this bullshit it was the last one like like on a super mass scale from my graduation numerous other followed afterwards but this was like a massive stuff in 1993 is when Prince Charles launched another it was uh, getting me killed through the Slovenian postal services through the delivery mail that kind of stuff that kind of psychiatry because according to him alone he was very successful at doing to some other people in Britain that he managed to jade the nuts so they would commit crimes and so on violence so you want to know the people you want to know about you want to know about these people nobody in this world knows them better than I do the police investigators that witnessed their stuff did not know as much as I know about this scum from London. She flashed her tits since my, since my childhood. She flirted with me more than anybody did. In the end, what he did was they burned themselves. They fucking set themselves on fire, one of those castles they have. Out of desperation, out of frustration, out of anger. For who they are, for what they are. If you want to get to know them, this is what they are. See? Look at that. 1991. Graduation. Present for you. The second thing. April. Divorce. From Mark Phillips. Excited. Divorce from Mark Phillips. And it's something I was even cursed. I was cursed by the Zara Tyndall, which she went on afterwards that she's going to marry me and so on. I was cursed afterwards from these children that it was my fault, blamed for it, and I don't know what the fuck. The third thing, marriage to Timothy Lawrence. Actually, a fire at the Windsor Castle. And the fourth thing, a marriage to Timothy Lawrence. That's how you do it. So, when I know something about the castle in 1992, but this is the story, this is the real story. This is the official police story, what I told you. And when I say police, you don't fucking believe by any chance that what you have in Britain is actually a police, right? Because they're being under investigation right now by myself. I'm not hiding anything away from anybody. There is my name. There's more than 1,000 videos I posted online. Where the fuck to find me? As a matter of fact, you don't have to worry about it because I'm going to find you. This is the official, real account of fire at the Windsor Castle by the police. Official account of fire that took place in 1992 of the Windsor Castle. With my being a police officer, policing a police, literally 
policing, administering British police. See this? There you go. He looks pretty. Yeah, they try to create me like feeling like it's my life that's falling apart. Like they were showing me this picture and she's not going to get married with you and this and that and so on. Yeah, well, yeah. Good luck with it. They keep trying from 1992 to 2024. They kept trying for another 32 years just to fail at the end, just to face the court with me at the court, face to face. Burning of uh, the Windsor Castle was afterwards explained to me as by the Queen Elizabeth, by Prince Charles, it was translated to me as uh, this con this concert this concern this um, this concert with with them according to Queen Elizabeth because you're one of us this was the explanation given to me as per why the castle was burnt the explanation was because you're one of us and we're not happy about it. In a way, it is suggested as if they would have done something like this to the public, as if they burned the castle to publish, to punish British public, British taxpayer, if you like, a commoner or something like this. And because you're one of us, and this concern, this concert, um, it obviously translated to me the way they wanted me to see this thing as, is basically them and us. That's basically them, that's you, public, and taxpayers, and us. That's basically royals, us, royals. Um, you, public, you, taxpayers, uh, making us uncomfortable, causing us trouble, uh, causing me pain, suffering, problems, because of you. In other words, because of you, public, taxpayer, and so on and so forth. That's at least what they attempted to convince, but they did not convince me about that stuff. In a way, they did. They did convince me in a way, but not entirely. I still was open to understanding what exactly went on because of what I previously explained with a lot of paradox involving it. Uh, if you pay attention at the beginning of the video, I was uh, I was not hurt, really. Um, I was not hurt, really, when uh, you know I was blamed for it. I was hurt when they told me that now I have the ability to report about this stuff, and now the time came that they did this for me so that I could report this stuff. And so that's the stuff I couldn't understand. This is the stuff that so, so, so strongly suggested me that something is wrong with these people. This was exactly, I would never give in and completely surround, sur surrender myself to uh, such brainwash. Yeah, so this is what I have to say about the Windsor Castle. Exactly what police will confirm. Police will confirm everything that I have stated because police was, Slovenian police was there, British police was there, a firemen also were involved in it, firemen that uh, put down a fire also got involved in it. 
the whole area of Windsor was involved in this stuff. Everybody knew about this stuff. There is no fucking way, you understand, that you can possibly say no to any of this claim. That anybody can say no to this claim. The Scotland Yard will be investigated for this matter because they failed to react, they failed to act and it truly was not best to my interest in absolutely any way. Uh, it was trauma after trauma after trauma after trauma based and it was all on a platform of the forced unemployment. You cannot stalk also not only destroy him citizenship through the, such a harsh criminal ways, murderous ways, stalk one to the United States of America and deprive one in the United States of America of his new citizenship. And so you can't fucking do that. You can do this in imagination. But in reality, I will be walking the Scotland Yard. I will be talking to you involved in this at Scotland Yard. You will be reporting to me at my office. I will be running interrogation. I will be asking you questions. We will meet in Britain, for that matter, and at ICC. That is a crime against humanity. I'm a human being. As much as you try to dehumanize me, you will answer the questions. There are, to summarize, a fire of 1992 afterwards. After my being insulted versus being, including mentally retarded, not doing anything with my degree, diploma, certification, uh, not a degree, but certification, uh, insulted by Princess Anne alone, rated as retarded, was afterwards rationalized to me as my being one of them, one of the royals, they don't like, as it came out repeatedly from the mouth of Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth, and Charles, and others, they don't like MKUltra at all. They hated MKUltra. My being, as one of them, it was depicted to me the fire of the Windsor Castle in 1992 as a form of punishment of the public, of the taxpayers. It was depicted to me as a protest. The British royals against the British taxpayers, against commoners who were responsible for the torture that was taking place against me. It was their way to protest. It was basically to burn the castle. So there's always happy ending in MK Ultra. The happy ending, however, did not stop not even there. The happy ending to make me feel good about after my being really severely spit upon continued. British Royals Further suggested a fire which took place had to take place because of them. And when it came to them, again, it was a Slovenian police that was guilty. It was the Serbs that were coming there with me, obviously. Uh, not worried about me, they told me, but because of them. They're not supposed to see it. They're not supposed to be there. They're not supposed to know about. And again, it was because of them. Finally, it was that basically it was them, everybody. See how they make you feel good. They make you feel good at the end. Princess Anne also excused herself with the assistance of Charles, with the assistance of Andrew, Vesper, 
being a bit too old for me. There was a significant age difference according to her, and because of that she decided it would not be. So, you see, I was not even so mentally retarded at the end. In the end, they made me feel good, and we continued this MK Ultra saga uh, for some time to come in the future. For better or for worse, after 40 something years, they did throw me inside the psychiatric hospital. After, after, after 40 years, 40 something years, they found a way with the Slovenian side to literally through the Slovenian side, using the Slovenian side, to really stash me into the psychiatric hospital, Ljubljana Plan. This once I started to talk about MK Ultra. This is when, how do they say in the US, I don't know, uh, you throw the shit into the fan or something like that, it exploded, it exploded, the torture went into the fifth gear, and so did domestic violence and lies against me, and everything was flying my way to get me, literally to get me killed. But they wanted to know so much about MK Ultra. They wanted to hear from my mouth. And finally started to hear. Uh, I was as good as dead. They were actually sure that I'm dead. But I continued to walk as dead. That's why you hear me giving you this account. Otherwise, you would not even hear me. Still, it's not a good situation, as you know. In the part, um, I don't know, I'm going to put that on the top or it's going to be part number two, I do not know. I do the complete breakdown of what basically the castle is like, who had the room where, where the rooms were, uh, exactly who organized the fire, what exactly it looked like. Uh, in fact, something I did not discuss in that part number two or number one, or whatever you is that you're going to watch this Windsor Castle Fire 1992. Uh, the main guy that would visit it was a friend of uh, Prince Charles, looked like the guy you see right there, something like this, you know. And there was an older guy, and this older guy was his boss, it was his. I think his teacher, I think that this was the man, I don't know who was this British police officer, what he was, this was like an old, high-ranking man, maybe number one man in the country, in the Britain, that was an old, old friend, uh, it was like a sturdier guy, more fat guy, this was a man who was a personal friend of Prince Philip, so he was more of the same age of Prince Philip, something like that. This is the sturdy guy, that, I mean the guy that you see right there. Uh, that guy looked like the guy on the left side that you see right there. That guy looked more like uh, the guy that was the same age like Prince uh, Charles. And, and so he had like the boy you see right there behind two guys like this that he would also drill them probably for investigation purposes. They would not be from London, I think. They would be coming from up north. Uh, I don't know which department, where, how, and so on and so forth. This is basically the way it went about Winds of Fire. Watch that video because I break down completely on their premises in the Windsor Castle. Uh, I totally, totally explain absolutely everything. You know, so. There wouldn't be any doubts about whether this stuff was real or was not real or something like that. Factual, as it gets. And when it comes to flashing me with the tits, uh, all the royal females were involved in this stuff. It did not stop with the Princess Anne. Um, it didn't start with one, it didn't stop with one. There was every royal female that was, that there was out there in the media that you see that flirted. 
during MK Ultra. They try its best to drive me nuts. Uh, the thing is, Vladimir Putin had two daughters involved in a very same fashion. The thing is, there were so many daughters of these politicians, including from George Bush, including from Bill Clinton. They all did the same thing. It was all flashing. Uh, everything went through the same concept. Uh, it was all about marriage, this and that. They are used to drive one insane. And when I said to you, there was at least, I don't know, some 10,000 adult workers involved in it. Uh, they would literally take me even to the through the streets where they would have sex workers working and meeting them and so on through various countries, at least 10,000. An entire porn industry that you know was involved in this stuff. If you want to understand the degree of this MK Ultra case, I managed, I accomplished to develop as far as my being having the ability to witness you pretty much about everything that went around the world for the last 52 years.